Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in today. I thought today I'd do a quick video of the new, my new personal survival kit that I put together. So stay tuned. Let's check it out. You're watching Skills to Survive. Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I thought today's video I'd do a quick video on going over doing a or building another personal survival kit. Now, you know I like building survival kits, uh, anybody that's been around the channel for a while, but so anyway, I, I thought I'd build another one, another survival kit that I could put in my EDC bag. For years I've carried the um, Sokoa Suma tin uh, as my personal survival kit, and these things are great, um, heavy duty, they're, but they're expensive. So, you know, that, that, that's worked out for a long time, but I also wanted to carry, carry a couple of more items with me uh, in my EDC bag. Now again, as I've said hundreds of times, I like uh, modularity. So <clears throat> what I was looking at, I, I was looking on Amazon um, a while back and just at some different pouches and stuff because I wanted something that wasn't, that wasn't too big uh, that I couldn't put on my belt or carry around like that if I wanted to, but also something that I could also attach to my pack as well. So, you know, just searching Amazon, I came across these. These are by a company called um, X Taser or X Tacker, something like that. I don't know, just kind of a knockoff um, company, but they came in a two pack for like 15 bucks. So I couldn't pass it up. And these things measure like about seven and a half inches long, by about six and a half inches tall, and they're about two and a half inches wide. So, which is about what I was looking for. Again, something I could you know easily carry if I wanted to on my belt or or whatnot. So these things are pretty neat because again they're Molly compatible, so you can attach them to your pack. I can run my belt through here if I want to attach it to my belt. Then on the front it has some you know other Molly or Pals webbing here. I can attach another small little pouch if I wanted to, and it's got some Velcro here if I wanted to attach, you know, put a patch or whatnot. But anyway, and then in the inside it just has one little mesh pocket there you can kind of see one little mesh pocket on the inside and then the rest is open so pretty basic um, little kit which is you know all I wanted I just wanted a, just a basic pouch so this one here I just turned into my personal survival kit and I put these little split ring key rings on here that way I can pull this out of my bag I can just grab it and pull it out of my EDC bag and if I wanted to carry it as like on my shoulder like as a, sh a shoulder bag or something like that all I have to do is just attach a little piece of paracord or something like that piece of webbing something and then I have it I could wear it as a you know as a shoulder bag or whatnot so anyway I said that's that's these or that's the the pouch itself um, nice little pouch I mean it seems to be fairly well made for what it is you know the money so let me uh, let me readjust the camera and take out the contents for you and I'll show what I got show you what I have in the my personal survival kit stay with me I'll be right back Alright, so let's go over some of uh, the contents of the personal survival kit. I got them all kind of laid out here to help with time. Basically, everything, pretty much everything will fit in the, um, these lock sack bags. I uh, got these from Five Call Survival Supply. So these are pretty neat. They're waterproof, airtight, leak proof, all kind of good stuff. Um, if you haven't seen those, I'm sure most of you have a uh, double ziplock closure um, called a lock sack. Um, very cool bags. Um, Again, five call survival supply. Pick those up there. So let's see what we got here. We'll start from the kind of the back, going front here. Uh, right here, I've got the my Rat Cutlery RC3, or as most of you know now, uh, SE knives. This will be the SE3. I got that. That's going to be my fixed blade. I wanted a fixed blade knife in here, just because I can. You know, fixed blade knives are a whole lot better than folding knives for. A lot of tasks so but I also have a Leatherman super tool in here because I like to have a multi-tool in, uh, in my kits if I can because multi-tools come in handy for a lot of different things so as you know super tool also has a knife on it has a saw uh, screwdriver all that cool stuff on there uh, there's also one more cutting tool in here a little small little small razor blade that I have on here for something if I need to cut something and need it to be really sharp or if I need to do some type of fine work for whatever reason so that's pretty much the cutting tools. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the kind of the food. The food I have in here, I uh, just have one of these Millennium Bars. 
I like these. These are similar to the uh, Lifeboat rations, like the Daytrax bars, stuff like that. Um, these bars are pretty cool. There's 400 calories in here, and uh, these things last for like five, six, seven years, something like that. So they're kind of cool. Also put in here a package of the survival tabs, you know, because they, they fold down really small, so they'll fit in there as well. Also have a little package here of uh, antibacterial wet wipes, because they always come in handy for lots of different things. Have just a um, Mylar uh, blanket, you know. Everybody's seen those, these survival blankets. Uh, these are okay for what they are. I think I'm going to take trade this out and put in one of the um, uh, heat sheets uh, from Adventure Medical Kits, or SOL, the heat sheet bivvies. So I think I'm going to put one of those in there. I think I can get that to fit in there. Let's see here. Going on down the list, got a small little double A or a triple A little LED light. This is some off-brand light. I don't even know where I got it from. And I took the battery out, and the battery is right here. Because you don't, you really don't need to leave your batteries in your flashlights if you're going to store them for a long time. Kind of going down to some of the fire stuff. And another lock sack bag here. I just have a uh, part of my fire kit. The rest of it, I could just kind of have it setting out here for you to see. But uh, in here, I just have some of the little makeup pads uh, that were coated in wax by myself. They make great fire starters. I have a couple of uh, uh, Strike Anywhere matches in there, as well as a couple of the um, windproof, stormproof matches in there. Cotton ball. Wet fire cube, these things are pretty nice. Also have a mini Bic lighter, and I've taken and wrapped around a little uh, zip tie around that. Have a couple of small little sticks of fat wood, because fat wood is um, great for all kind of stuff. Have a needle. This is a heavy duty needle. It's not a sail needle per se, but it's a cloth canvas type needle. Have a bobbin of, uh, this is braided, uh, like spider wire, fishing line. So have a whole bunch of that on there. I don't even know how much is wrapped around that roll. A couple of small little nails. Um, people don't think about putting nails in your little survival kits, but these things come in handy for different things. Uh, I've used in the past, so nails. And this little bag here wrapped up is a small little fishing kit, so there's several uh, hooks, weights, a couple of small little lures in there. So let's see, there's also some fishing line in there, all kind of stuff in there. Here are some, just some different sizes of safety pins, because they always come in handy for various things. Right here I just have one of the Whirl Pack bags. These are kind of cool. These bags stand up on their own, and they'll hold a liter of water. So a Whirl Pack bag. I have some, a couple of Micro Pure water purification tablets. And then right here I have my H2O Survival Straw. This is the, the pin type straw, the real small uh, version so this will filter out uh, this is actually a purifier so it will filter out viruses bacteria chemicals and all that as well so I have that in there have some wrapped up cordage I don't even know what kind of type of nylon type cordage this is I've had it for a long time so have some of that have a hank of bank line in here also got this from five call survival supply so um, got a roll of number 36 bank line there's probably at least 50 feet if not more of that Several different zip ties. Zip ties also come in handy. Several different sizes of zip ties. They come in handy for lots of different things. Back here just have a couple of sheets of right in the rain paper. Right here I just have a um, one of the Ultimate Survival Sec Technologies little star flash uh, signal mirror. And I just kind of have it wrapped up to kind of protect the mirror to keep it from getting scratched. Let's see, going over here to this side over here, I just have some um, aspirin. have a little thing of earplugs. You never know, they come in handy for various different things. A couple of alcohol prep pads, a couple of iodine prep pads, a couple of different sizes of band-aids. never know when you might need a band-aid. Stuff like that. And then um, a little Fresnel lens, uh, also from Five Call Survival Supply. So this is pretty neat because not only can you use it to start fires with, but it's a magnification lens. So, you know, if you need to magnify something, like if you need to dig a splinter out of your finger or something like that, you can also use that. And it works great for that. So that's pretty much everything that's in the little kit. And... Um, I said it's a, it's a pretty pretty big kit, I guess you could say, but everything fits into the the little pouch there, which is nice, uh, with the exception of the of my fixed blade knife. I have it on the back, and um, just kind of ran through the the belt loops on the back, the molly loops. But everything else fits in there great, and you know I really like it. I'm I'm sure I'm missing a couple of things. So if you tell me what I'm missing, if you think I'm missing something, let me know, and 
I'll definitely put that in there. I do know one thing that I am missing, well two things, uh, a whistle, which I'm getting ready to put that in there, because I do have an extra whistle, and a small little button compass or something like that, so I do need to put a little compass in there. And my, um, I carry a set of lock picks in my wallet every day, so I, not going. I don't know that I'm going to put a set of lock picks in here. I may. I'm not sure. So, anyway, if you can think of anything else that I'm missing, please let me know, and uh, leave them down in your comments below, and tell me what you put in your uh, little survival kits and stuff like that. And uh, till I see you in another video. Always remember your PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise, and always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.